Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Matt from the Glove Bros coming at you guys with a review on my 44 Pro first basement. Um, I'm going to do like a full review because of my what's in my bag. I touched on this a little bit and uh, lately I've been seeing a lot of people talking about ordering custom gloves and um, a lot of people really bashing 44 and I just wanted to come to 44's defense um, because I feel like a lot of the people in, I guess you can call us the glove community who are talking about 44 Pro and bashing them. I've never owned one. Um, I mean, I got this. I ordered this not last um, Thanksgiving, the year before that, in 2013. Um, I got it on... I got it in January, actually. So it was about uh, five or six week turnaround time. And there actually was an error with the glove before I got it. So it took them an extra week to remake my glove. Um... So I was going to show you guys, this is a 13 inch uh, first basement, uh, H-Web. Um, I like it a lot. The The thing that's hard with the, as far as the custom gloves come with um, 44 is that there's no pattern. It's not like with, with a Wilson or a Rawlings, they have like a model number. This is just their first basement. Um, I think it's really good. It has a, a super deep pocket. I'll show you guys it first. Put a ball in the pocket. It closes completely around it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start to do like an overview of the glove. Um, this is a camel and black colorway. So everything's going to be camel or black. Um, so got a, the black H-Web. Got camel and camel. And then on the first basement, there's really not like 100 options to get. So I just got the black finger pad with it. Um, I could have gotten the binding black, but I decided not to. I decided to go with just a black lace. Um, this isn't the stock lace. This is um, actually the paracord lace. Uh, got it released by my boy uh, DC Gloves. Uh, he did a killer job on it. I love this paracord. It's crazy. It doesn't stretch like at all, which is kind of like bittersweet. But uh, yeah, now I'm gonna get more into like the actual glove itself. Um, I if I'm gonna be honest, 44 does not have the best lace, but nor do they claim to. I mean, it's not the best lace. I did have to get it relaced. I got it relaced after a full year of use of it at first base. Probably about 40 games. And uh, it took a pretty good pounding. The web got stretched back a little too far for my taste where I didn't feel like I had control on it. So, um, went and got it relaced by him. He hooked me up. He does really good relaces. So, uh, give him a follow. If you need your glove relaced, he'll do a killer job. Um, got the 44 logo. With the black and the bone. Um, have my name. And the, the American flag on it. This was an extra like five bucks. So whatever. Because America. So yeah. Um, I think the leather on this glove is pretty solid. I like it a lot. I'm not, I don't have any trouble with the leather. People say it's like really plasticky. But I can. I would honestly compare it to a, like a hard to hide dual core. Because it is softer than like a, an A2000 or a regular... Um, hard to hide stock model so it is it's a little bit softer um which i i don't mind it's just different than what i'm used to but um i like it um when i did send it to dc gloves um there did get a crease in it it was uh what's it called's fault it was the post office fault the box i guess I guess it was my fault just as much as that because the box shifted and they stacked another box on top of it so the box was like half crunched and the glove got shit back like this so it does have a crease in it it doesn't really bother me that much kind of annoys me but uh it is what it is i get, did get the fast back i regret this uh because i don't like it uh people say it gives you like more control of the glove um i don't know why i did it i regret it um i go two in the pinky finger in the fast back so there is a, a space um but yeah, I wish I would have gotten the conventional. Um, so yeah, the leather is good. The lace is okay. I mean, it did stretch after a year. I just, to be honest, I don't know how to tighten H webs. So I just got it relaced just out of safety because I don't want it to pop because I don't have a backup at first base. So this would pop, but I have to use like a teammate's like crappy like Gold Glove Elite or something. So I didn't want that. So I wanted to just get it relaced in the off season. Um, the finger pad really isn't a finger pad. It's just like a little bit of leather. 
Uh, it's okay. I, I mean, it really doesn't sting that much. Um, the padding on this is pretty good. I was actually surprised with the padding. Um, but overall, these inserts got soft really quick. Um, so, like, now, yeah, like, I'll, like, constantly have to, like, reflare it. Um, I have thought about going in and, um, changing this up a little bit and putting in different inserts. Um, but, um, for my birthday, which is in July this year, I'm ordering, um, custom pro department for his basement. So, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna use it, um, this season, see what it is. I don't think I'm gonna be playing first too much this year. Um... But it, it'll still probably get its use. I feel like I always say I'm never going to play first, and then I play a lot of games over there. Um, but, I mean, overall, for 160 170 bucks, I think that's what... It's like one 165 and then you add your flag, or like extra embroidery or whatever. Um, these gloves are killer. I like them a lot. I just think that people hate on them because a couple of accounts have had bad experiences with them. I've heard since I've gotten them, they have changed a lot about their gloves, like their craftsmanship and all that. I think the craftsmanship of this glove isn't bad. I just think that their inserts are soft. Their inserts and their lace is soft, but as far as the actual leather quality goes, for 160 bucks, it's it's pretty solid. This has lasted a year. There's no cracking. There's no, I mean, wear where it's wearing super thin. It. it it holds its shape pretty well. I know I didn't drop that too high. I just didn't want to take it out of your camera view. Um, they actually, it, I like their fur because their fur is really thin. So it kind of pushed back nicely. It's probably disgusting. I haven't even looked at it. It's probably like this awkward color brown. But that's, I mean, that's just how it is with the fur. Anybody who has a Rawlings glove or a glove company with fur gets it. Um, it's not too much fur like some of the Rawlings do when they like OD on the fur. And it's like just so much fur. This one's just a little bit, so it's pretty nice. Uh, the palm liner is just like traditional palm liner. It's just leather. Um, it's pretty comfortable overall of a glove. Um, I mean, if you're if you're in the market for you you want to get a custom glove and you're not trying to break the bank and get a 44, I like them a lot. This has got a year use. I definitely think I can get another year out of it. I probably could get at least one or two more seasons with it, but I'm going to get my custom for pro department, so I'm not going to get another two years out of it it'll get its year use and then it will become my rainy day first basement so i really feel more than comfortable keeping this in my bag um but yeah guys this is gonna be my full review if you have any questions about me uh, about this glove just uh, drop a comment in i'm more than willing to answer all your questions like i usually do about all my other videos but uh, as far as that goes comment like subscribe also, drop a comment what you guys want to see next as far as our videos go. We want to hear from you guys. We don't want to just do what we want. All right? Comment, like, subscribe. Thanks.